Okay, so Vikings are in the playoffs against the Giants, and everybody talks about whether they believe the Vikings are going to win, whether they think the Vikings are going to win. And I, as an MIT engineer, feel like I'm in a unique position to mathematically calculate the odds that the Vikings will win. And I've developed a, a mathematical equation. I feel gives the most precise win probability for the Vikings for this upcoming game. So the equation starts with 0.67. What that means is the Vikings have a two-thirds probability of beating the Giants if everything else is equal. Now the first additional term is this minus 0.01, n down equals 1 to 4, n down squared, n down. So what that means is every time they run Dalvin Cook between the tackles, their win probability goes down. The probability decreases exponentially the closer to fourth down it is. They run Dalvin Cook between the tackles on first down. It's just n down squared. n down would be one. First down, one squared times. So they only lose 1% of the win probability. Second down, it's n down squared. So two squared four times. They lose 4% of win probability every time. 9% on third down and then 16% if they do it on fourth down. So they run them up the middle on fourth down. Game over. Then there's minus 0.05 and Joseph XP doing. So that's 5% loss in win probability for every extra point Greg Joseph misses. So it's going to be at least 5%. Minus 0.07 N plays were greater than or equal to three Vikings defenders whiff. So we've seen that a lot this year where defender is dead to rights and three Vikings, four Vikings, however many Vikings have a shot at him and just miss and he goes for a touchdown. Then plus 0.5 parentheses N receiving yards JJ minus 125 over 125. So Justin Jefferson gets more than 125 yards receiving. Our win oh, probability goes down. If it's less than 125, the win probability goes down. Minus 0.05, absolute value number of targets for Hawkinson, minus 6 over 6. So Hawkinson needs to get 6 targets exactly. That's, that's the magic number. And if he has way more than 6, the win probability goes way down. Third and three, Jair Alexander is on Justin Jefferson and is giving him about a 50-yard cushion. Do you, A, throw to TJ Hawkinson, B, throw to TJ Hawkinson, C, throw to TJ Hawkinson, D, A, B, and C, or E, throw to some guy I've never heard of and don't even recognize? If he has way less than six, the win probability goes way down. So we don't want to throw to him too much. We don't want to throw to him not at all. We want to throw to him the right amount, kind of that Goldilocks amount. Minus 0.05 and Cousins trips. So that's 5% reduction every time Cousins trips over one of his guard's feet or center, whoever it may be. Plus or minus 0.2 times the square root of the turnover margin. So if they win the turnover margin, this adds significantly. If they lose the turnover margin, it subtracts significantly from their win probability. And then last, uh, plus 0.01 times n giants with x y. So that what that means is uh, there's a one percent increase in the Vikings' win probability for every member of the Giants my ex wife has her first encounter with, and she's rather prolific. And this might need to be player dependent, but I kept it simple, just one percent per player. Like she makes contact with Saquon Barkley, it probably is a, a bigger bump in the win probability. And so I've done a I've done a calculation based on my predictions for each of these. So I'm predicting. Six runs between the tackles for Dalvin Cook on first down, three on second down, two on third down, and zero on fourth down. Please. And then Joseph missing one extra point. The Vikings whiffing once on a player that they've got dead to rights. 180 yards receiving for Justin Jefferson. Maybe wishful thinking, but that's going to that's gonna help. Cousins tripping over Ed Ingram's feet once. Winning the turnover margin by one, okay, which will help. What that gives, when I add all that together, the win probability is 0.56. So they're slightly favored. They are favored to win if my predicted, if my predictions come true on each of these factors. The thing is, you know, it's kind of a coin flip. So the one thing that we need to tip the scale is for my ex-wife to really get going. Whenever the Giants get to town, please, if you know my ex-wife, I hope you don't, but if you do, let her know. Time is of the essence. And that could really push the Vikings over the top. We'll see how my mathematical equation of win probability turns out. I'm not going to be able to watch the game live because uh, I'm going to Great Wolf Lodge with my kids. So I'm probably going to have to watch it on delay. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to avoid hearing the score. And I know I'm not going to be able to. So I know I'm going to get so angry. But I'm just going to try to stay calm when I hear updates from people. While I'm at that water park, my kids are complaining that I didn't buy them enough pizza or something.